Welcome to the Ogden City Council's quick meeting recap for the work session and city council meeting that took place on Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. In the work session, the council reviewed and discussed proposed updates to the Neighbor Up Grant Program Guidelines. The proposed changes include adding language to limit grant awards to one per year for sponsor or co-sponsor and neighborhood. This will allow for funding to be spread out citywide and help with tax implications. This will be considered in the meeting on November 1st. The council also discussed options to expand the program and ask staff to explore these options with the administration. The council then reviewed and discussed amendments to the East Central Community Plan, Zoning Ordinance, and Zoning Map. The proposed amendments include updates to the East Central Community Plan to promote mass transit and incorporate the Ogden Express BRT, transit overlay zone standards and rezones, nine rails creative district zone standards and rezones, and changes to accessory dwelling units. These amendments will be considered in the meeting on November 15th. The council then reviewed and discussed the proposed rezone for property at 682 to 712 7th Street. The proposed ordinance would rezone seven properties in this area from single-family residential zone R16 to multifamily residential zone R3. The property owners do not currently have plans for a proposed development. The proposed rezone will be considered in the meeting on November 1st. Under common consent in the City Council meeting, the appointment of Alex Anderson to the Weber Mosquito Abatement District Board was approved. The appointments of Rory Johnson, Meredith Salas, Dan Spark, and Scott Stanger to the Ogden Trails Network Committee were also approved. The Council then adopted a resolution modifying the Ogden City Youth Council bylaws. Revisions to the Youth Council include consolidation of the Youth Council and Leadership Academy, seven members of the Youth Council elected to leadership positions, no limit on the number of youths accepted, no term limits. Members who aren't elected to leadership will be assigned to various committees and or appointed to deputy positions as approved. Members will have the opportunity to serve as liaisons to various boards and commissions. The entire recording from the meetings of October 18th can be accessed on the Ogden City Council's Facebook page and podcast with timestamps to skip to specific agenda items. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to the council office at 801-629-8153 or send an email to citycouncil at ogdencity.com.